This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Ooh, what's up people, Dobson Wolves is right here, and welcome to another Pokemon pack opening. Before we start, please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And today, you may want to say if this might be a battle or not, it depends on what you want to do. But we have got ourselves a more Peko special pin collection, and a Snorlax special pin collection. So, which one is better? Now, this was the start of the base set Sword and Shield, and of course, still has a, an original Sun and Moon boost pack in it for some reason. So, uh, hopefully, we can pull something good. So, I uh, hope it. We're gonna do ourselves a little box battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, a lot of people who are new to my channel, what is a pack battle? Now, I always call these pack battles because I, I don't know if I originated this or not. A hollow rare is a point, including the promo card. So, of course, the Snorlax and the Morpeko, whether it's a GX or a gold card or a shiny, it still classes a point because you guarantee it. A V card, an EX, whatever you want to call it, guarantees you two points. A full art, whether it's a trainer or a normal Pokemon card, it's worth three points. If it's a secret rare, it's worth four points. But if it's a shiny or a Charizard most viable card, that's worth five points, of course. Also known as the rainbow cards and everything. So you get my drift. So let's open these up. I mainly collect these because I love the pins. I collect the pins. I have a scarf that is full of pins. I may do that one day, but not yet though. So let's go and get these out. These uh, special promo cards. I love these a lot. This is number 32 of Sword and Shield and 31 of Sword and Shield. So it's pretty much near the beginning of uh, the Sword and Shield set. So we got ourselves Sun and Moon and the Sword and Shield and a Sword and Shield. And you get yourself a special promo card. Here you go. And it's gone. I'm just trying to put my little bag bin on the side so I know I've got... Something to do with... Oh, there goes my pin. There is my pin. That looks adorable, that Snorlax. I love Snorlax a lot. Really, really cool Pokemon. And now, of course, once again, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. A Sun and Moon. And a special promo code. Here you go. And it's gone. And, of course, the adorable Morpeko. Now, tell me, people, what would you prefer? Do you prefer Morpeko? This is actually why I'm put this as a little poll for you guys in this video. Comment down below... Which do you prefer, Morpeko, Pikachu, or Mimikyu? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Because I like all three of them, but I think I'm going to put myself down to Morpeko because he has a nice side and a mean side. I like Morpeko a lot. But it's hard for me to choose because I love Pikachu because it's the original. I love Mimikyu because it's a ghost type, but I love Morpeko because it has a mean side to it, which is awesome. Now I'm just going to put these coins to the side. We'll put these two cards on top of them. So let's get it started. Like I said, you know the rules. Let's see what we can pull. We're going to start off with Sun and Moon because out with the old, in with the new. Let's see what we can pull. So, here's your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's hope we can pull something. We got also Fairy Energy. We got Brioni. We got Big Malasala. Oh boy! We got Pikimuku. Zubat. Shelda. A young goose, we're gonna build a wall if it had a high voice. Paris, Canopy, we got ourselves a reverse ball, Karaka Rock, Rock, Rock. Oh, baby, there we go, we got one that we haven't got yet. We got ourselves a Luinas GX Hollow, that is awesome, very nice indeed. That's two points right there, so Snorlax is already doing a full throttle hit. That is a Yu Gi Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! Sleeve. Do not know what that's doing there. We'll put it in the green one. So we've got three points already because we got a GX card. That's sweet. Now time for Sword and Shield. Good start right here, people. Very good start. Let's keep this train rolling. Here's your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. We're sells a darkness energy. A drizzle. A evolution incense. Salazzle. A billbug. Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchow, Krogunk, a reverse foil rare Copygriff, 
and a Rose Raid. Now, like I said, people, the reverse four rares do not count as a point because it's not a proper holo. It's just a reverse four rare, meaning they worth less. I'm wondering how. I'm sure you guys know how much that card that card was worth. So hopefully that was very good. Now, as I remember, Sword and Shield has the gold um, Sword and Shield legendaries, which I love to get because they were five points, and that'll be one hell of a win right there. We also have Darkness Energy. I mean, not Darkness Energy, a Psychic Energy. We got a Galarian Linoon, a Energy Switch, Bisharp, a Cuffant, Baltoy, Salandit, a Galarian Ponyta, Minchino, a Reverse Foil Rare Frostmoth. Oh, there we go! We get Regirock V. That is nice. I'll take it any day. I love the Regis, as you guys know, I've been playing the, the, all the DLCs all over again, getting all the Regis, um, the Reggie Lecky, Reggie Dragon, uh, Reggie Gigas, etc, etc. Man, I'm having a time of life playing the Pokemon Sword and Shield games now, it's just so freaking good. So at the end of that um, battle there, that was two, four, five points, wow, and two Avoruses, which don't worth anything, like I said. But now it's time for more Peko, let's see what more Peko has to offer. We're starting off with Sun and Moon, of course. That was a very, very strong pack, actually. Very strong, for some weird reason. Got ourselves the code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we can get. Got ourselves a Lightning Energy. Kurokorok. A Pachiritsu. Not Pachiritsu, Pukumuku. My god, why am I saying Pachiritsu? That's a bumming squirrel. A Double Colorless Energy. A Piggy Peck, Sandile, Radatana, Snubble, Makarita, a Reverse Foil Pony Rag. Oh, baby! Woo! We get one of my favourite evolutions! Ombreon Full Art! Are you kidding? Woo! That is awesome right there, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, that is three points right there. Oh, Mopeko, you always give me the goods. Let's go. Oh, baby. Woo! Ombreon Full Art GX. I don't recall having this as a Full Art. I know I have it as a shiny card. Awesome. Oh, man, I love Ombreon. That is awesome. What a beautiful card. We have to keep going, though, people. We can't just stop and look at it all the time. That's three points, though. Mopeko is on... Four points. We need one more point to draw against Snorlax, which will be amazing. We got ourselves Thunder Energy, Heat Maw, a Galarian Stung Fist, Hyper Potion, Filth Bug, Goldie, Yampa, a Scudipede, a, Co a Colopopus, a Versal Aurora Energy. Oh, we get a Rhyperior Hollow as well. We are now drawing with. Snorlax, this is looking good people, really looking good. Can this also give us a hollow, the final pack? Can we end with a hollow? And can Morpeko be at the front line and win this battle? Let's hope it can. Here's the code, and it's gone. One, two, three, four. Here's your War Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter, Villary Band, Vulpix, Nitit, Nickit, Boltoy, Chinchino, um, Chinchino, um, Chinchow, I need to stop thinking about all Pokemon, Krabby, Reverse for Baltoy, and a normal standard rare. Well, never mind, but hey, though, people, it tells you that both boxes are quite worth it. Yes, you have uh, Minchino, will give you probably a Full art card and a normal holo, but Snorlax can give you more goods and give you two V cards at the end of that day. So either way you choose it, I think get both of them, people. Both um, both pulls were amazing in my eyes. Definitely were amazing. So before we do say goodbye, people, let's see on what we pulled today. Why is that in a sleeve? I do not know why. So for the reverse foil rares, we get ourselves Karaka Rock Rock. Baltoy and the Aurora Energy. Oh, and Poliwag. There you go. For reverse for our rares, we got ourselves a Frostmoth and a Coppergreath. 
And then for Hollow Rares of the Day, of course. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, my flipping goodness. We get ourselves a Snorlax, Rhyperia, Morpeko, Regirock V, a Lamantis V um, GX, and the Umbreon GX Full Art. Jeez! And that looks like that could be a 10 by the look of it when I saw it, but either way, I don't think I'll grade it. I don't know. Depends on the price of it. Depends on what the price is, is now, if you know what I'm saying. Anyhow, people, hope you guys have enjoyed it. I surely did. If you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. With that being said, the people I'm salute goes to you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad at all, I think not bad. An Umbreon GX, a Reggie Rock V, and another GX. Get in there, Morpeko. Get in there, Snorlax. Well, that people like using it for grass. We got a reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Oh my god! Secret Red Next Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the ultra ball for a second, but it ain't, it's the nest ball. Oh, baby, wait a minute. One for the... Uh, did I do? Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh my god!